Welcome back to the Team to Beat Miami Heat podcast. My name is Amir. Before I get into the video today, I just want to thank everybody for following the podcast on Apple and Spotify. I also want to thank everybody for following and subscribing on YouTube. If you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So for today's episode, I want to talk about some free agents that are available that the Miami Heat could potentially sign. The Miami Heat are a first apron team, so we don't really have any salary to play with right now. And we're going to be needing to add a few pieces to improve this roster. And typically that's going to come through trades if we want to actually drastically improve this roster, get a Donovan Mitchell, a Trey Young, <clears throat> DeJounte Murray, whoever it may be. We're going to have to do that via the trade market. And in terms of rotational players or role players, we are going to have to offer folks essentially the veterans minimum. We'll have a um, taxpayer's um, mid-level exception for $5.2 million that we can offer eventually to someone. But we do need to add a few different pieces. And I think one thing that we need to focus on outside of scoring, which is not a lot of folks available that we can afford that is going to sign a veteran's minimum to help us offensively. Um, but there are some players out there that we could sign for cheap that can, you know, provide us some size right now. Kevin Love has been our backup center. He has a player's option hoping he resigns that, but <clears throat> even Kevin Love is undersized. He's only six foot eight and he probably would play better as a backup four to Niko Jovic, assuming he doesn't get traded or, assuming that he continues to start <clears throat> next season. Excuse me. So who can we get as a backup center to back up Bam Adebayo? It's slim pickings out there. There's not a lot of good options in free agency, but there is one name that comes to mind, and that player is Andre Drummond. So Andre Drummond is a unrestricted free agent this offseason. He was playing for the Bulls most recently. He only made $3 million or so last season which I think is the veteran's minimum. He is 30 years old, used to be a double-double machine back when he played in Detroit specifically. Um, he's been on multiple teams since then. But, man, early on in his career, playing next to, I believe it was Greg Monroe at the time, he, from age 22 to 25, just a monster and a menace on the glass. Um, best season, 17 0.7 points, 15 rebounds, 1.6 blocks. Um, he just was amazing at rebounding and pretty good rim protector as well. Um, he finished top eight in defensive player of the year one year um, for the Detroit Pistons. So good rim protector, um, amazing rebounder. Offensively, not the biggest threat, doesn't have the biggest skill set as a modern setter does in the NBA. Can't spread the floor, can't shoot. But he was a big body, and he was really effective um, early on in his career. He's six foot eleven, almost two hundred eighty pounds. So this guy's a beast. And the Miami Heat, you know, desperately need size, and I think he's a better option than the backups that we've had historically or recently with Cody Zeller, with Dwayne Dedman, most recently with Thomas Bryant, who wasn't horrible but he was inconsistent, not the best defender. Orlando Robinson, um, you know, super young, two-way guy who finally got signed to a standard contract. He is not even guaranteed for next season. So um, he would be a step up, honestly, from Thomas Bryant. Last season for the Chicago Bulls, he averaged 8.4 points, nine rebounds, and 0.6 blocks, one steal. Um, he shot 55% from the field, only 59% from the free throw line. That's always been an issue. He's a career 48% free throw shorter, which is horrible. Um, but either way, he's six foot 11. He is giant. He is strong, still has a knack for rebounding. Um, almost average a double, double playing 17 minutes a game. And that is the perfect amount of time that we can provide for him somewhere around 12 to maybe 17 minutes perhaps, uh, to spell Bam Adebayo, obviously. And one of the biggest issues with Bam Adebayo going to the bench is the defense. Um, we don't have good rim protection anyway, one of the worst teams at protecting the rim. And 
when he goes off the floor, we're struggling, honestly, uh, to prevent teams from scoring. And so he could be a good backup who was a former great defensive player at one point in terms of room protection. He can help us there. But nine rebounds in 17 minutes per game, huge. 79 games. Last season, only missed three games. That's amazing. Like, huge. 67 the year before. That's fine. That's more than most of the Miami Heat players played this season. We only had two guys play like 70 games or above, or maybe even one only. I think it was just Jaime. Maybe Duncan, too. I don't know. <clears throat> but either way, the Miami Heat are a bad rebounding team. And we were, let's see, 26th in rebounding last year. Um 16th in defensive rebounding, 26th in offensive rebounding. So Drummond last season averaged 3.4 offensive rebounds per game. The Heat as a team only averaged nine. Um, That's something that he can help with is just cleaning up the defensive glass and then helping us extend possessions by getting offensive rebounds and just having a big, tall person that can back up Bam out of bio. So I know these aren't glamorous options but when we're talking about free agents right now it's slim pickings we don't have enough money to afford paul george or demar de rosen or clay thompson or anybody else that is going to be demanding a ton of money so right now we have to focus on some veteran players that are willing to take the minimum and i think the miami heat should take a chance on that especially if thomas bryant doesn't pick up his option and even if he does he had so many DNPs last year, so he wasn't effective and he's not as good of a defensive player as, as Drummond. So I think it's a good option. It's not going to move the needle or anything, but Hey, anytime I do a free agent video, none of them are going to move the needle at this point. So the only way we can have a real impact on the season is through a trade. And we're on Donovan Mitchell watch still no news there. No new news that is, but either way, let me know what you guys think. Do you think Andre Drummond could be a good fit for this Miami Heat team? Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys.